Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to discuss about top 5 PDF annotation apps for Android. So let's start. The first uh, PDF annotation app is Zodo. So I open the Zodo app. So once you open it, you will uh, see this plus sign over here. So once you select it, you see there are four different options. The first option is new PDF. Then we have PDF from image. Then we have PDF from documents and then we have PDF from web page. So I will select PDF from documents. So once uh, I select it, uh, I will open any PDF. So for example, I select this PDF, uh, then I select it and then I convert and then I again select it. So the PDF is now open. So this is my uh, PDF file and on top I have all the necessary tools to annotate it okay so for example if you want to highlight um, some of the lines or some text in the pdf select this tool okay and just simply just uh, do it just scroll it like that and this will be uh, selected and then if you want uh, you can translate it okay if you want uh, you can change the color so here is the color option you select there are different colors okay you can see over here and there are more colors option as well okay and then you want to change the opacity if you want a little darker or lighter so you can do it uh, then we have the uh, free highlighter tool so in the free highlighter tool if i select it so then you can freely highlight anything okay so like this one okay and then this one and then we also have the option of colors and opacity as well uh, the other one is the underline tool so for example if you want to underline something in your pdf for example like this part if you want, i want to underline i just simply select it and it will automatically underline it for me as you can see over here and then we have text uh, strike tool so this is the text uh, strike tool so for example if you want to do the text uh, strike tool you can do it so it will be like this then we have uh, this text uh, squiggly tool so text squiggly tool is like this one okay and uh, uh, then uh, we move forward and then we have the uh, note tool okay so for example if i want to make any note i just select it and then you can write a note over here so you can write anything over here so for example you can see okay and then you can save it so it will be saved as a note okay and then we have the important tool which is the text tool so you can select uh, this text tool and then if you want to write something you can write over here so for example if you want to write something just uh, uh, write okay so you can see over here and then you can save it so and then if you want you can change its position you want to change the color the te the 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 boldness whatever you want you can uh, do in this uh, text tool and then we have the call out tool so this is the call out tool so in call out tool for example if you want to uh, write something i will show you so for example uh, okay so here if you want to uh, write something you can use the call out tool just uh, select it and then simply you can just uh, write it uh, whatever you want uh, for example i just write here call out tool okay and then you can save it and then it will be like this and then if you want you can change uh, arrow you can change its position if you want to mention uh, something in your pdf then we have the most important tool which is the uh, pen tool okay so this is the pen tool so in pen we have different option four different option this is according to the thickness the stroke the size the pressure everything uh, over there so if you want to write something okay so for example i change the stroke to this size okay you can write here okay if you want to mention something so you can freely write anything on your pdf okay then we have the razor tool if you want to raise something you can simply raise it and then we have the selection tool if you want to select some part you can simply select it you can see over here if you want to delete you can also delete it so guys if you go over here in, in the top uh, left corner you see this annotate option so once you select it you have the other tools list also available over here for example we have the draw tool so in the draw tool we have the pen tool shape tool so for example this is the shape tool you can create different shapes okay so you can see over here then we have different line tools okay so arrow tools so all the necessary tools are available over here and also we have the pen tool so you can use the pen as well okay so and then if you want to change the thickness or you want to change the style 
uh, you can also do it after the draw we have the fill and sign option the fill and sign tool so if you select it it gives you more options over here for example if you want to use this uh, sign tool you can make your sign over here okay you can create a new signature for example i select this signature and then i press done now i want to uh, use this tool okay so for example if i go over here and then i select this sign tool i just do it like this and my sign will be automatically there and then we have the text tool if you want to write something then we have more tools over here for example like this is the text box tool so you can just write something if you want to write okay so this is the fine uh, fill and sign tool you also have the stamp option for example if you want to use a different option okay for example you want to use this complete just do it like this and uh, there will be this stamp in the pdf as well and then if we move down we have the prepare form the insert form and then we have the mayer if you want to use different mayers okay so you can see over here it is giving you all the details okay to measure anything so it has all necessary tools to annotate the pdf if you want to get more tools for example uh, if you want to uh, remove some sensitive data if you want to remove some uh, sensitive text then you have to upgrade it uh, the current version that i am showing you is the free version okay so if you want to buy it you can also buy it you can upgrade it it's like 15.99 uh, per year if you want to go more deeper or, or you want to get more access the second app that i'm going to talk about is pdf element so i will open this pdf element so once you open it uh, it will be like this and if you select it from here and then you select the open document option so it will take you where you have all your pdf files so you can select any pdf file for example i select this pdf file over here and now if you want uh, you can annotate this pdf file so you have to just select this uh, blue color icon over here it's like a pen icon just select it and you will have all your tools available over here okay so for example this is first tool is related to the text highlighting if you want to uh, highlight your text okay so what you can do is i will show you so just select it like this and then for example you select this one and you want to uh, highlight some text so i just select it and then you see it is highlighted now if you want to use the underline option this is the underline this is the striking tool okay and then this is the squiggly tool so you can use this as well you can also change the color for the highlighter as well and uh, then the next uh, tool is the pen tool which is um, really important so you can use the pen tool if you uh, just hold it like this it gives you different option related to the thickness or the opacity or the color so for example if you want to write something you can write on pdf okay so this is how you can use the pen tool uh, then we have the uh, shape tool so this is the shape tool so there are different shapes you can see over here so for example like this one the circle okay the lines the arrows okay and then we have more option if you select uh, like this it gives you different colors option the thickness options as well and uh, if we move back uh, then we have this no tool just select this put it over here if you want to write something you can write in the note tool okay so you can see and then a uh, no tool is over here and then we have the uh, this uh, stamp tool okay the uh, different types of stamp you can use for example if you select it it gives you different option approved not approved final confidential so you can use this tool as well for example you want to put it here you can use this tool as well and guys if you want to add pages in your pdf file you can also add uh, pages because uh, for example like this one is finished over here so if you want to add pages you can also add pages what you can do is uh, just go over here and you see these three dots okay and then you see this page option just select it and here you can add pages as well so what you can do is you see this pen option edit option just select it and then you see this plus sign option and then you just select it and then you select the page size uh, width and height okay if you select the default you can select default and then select next the page will be added over here so it has all necessary tools and uh, everything available in this app 
to annotate the PDF. The next tool that I'm going to discuss is uh, Foxit PDF Editor. So I open this uh, PDF annotation app and then if you want you can go over here in the files option select browse more files and then you see uh, you can access any of your PDF. So for example I open this PDF file over here. So once I open it on the top you will see all the necessary tools for example like a pen tool if you want to write something you can write over here then we have the highlighter tool okay and uh, then we also have the uh, the underline tool the razor tool text tool the shape tools as well so all the necessary tools are available so if you select this edit option okay so you can edit the comment the drawing view form fill and sign so all the necessary tools are also available in this uh, pdf editor the next tool that i'm going to discuss is the samsung notes so you can annotate any pdf file in the samsung notes as well if you see over here there is a pdf option import pdf so you just select it uh, select any uh, pdf file that you have for example i have this uh, pdf file i open it okay and then you can simply um, uh, use all the tools over here okay so you see this pen tool the highlighter tool as well uh, and then we have the shape tool as well if you want to create any shape okay so you see this is a neat shape option as well so all the necessary tools are available so for example like this one and if you want to add some text you can also do the text okay just write for example i write here okay so you see all this option and then if you want you can also move it so all the annotation apps are available here okay and now once you finish with your work you can simply uh, uh, save it okay uh, it also give you the option to share it if you want to share you can also share your file the other thing that i want to discuss is with the new samsung notes uh, update so for example you have a pdf file okay so like this one so now it gives you the option of samsung notes pdf reader so this is a new uh, update so for example i select this one okay and then i select just once okay so now the pdf is open in the samsung notes now if i want to edit i can edit it okay so for example if i want to do you know, some uh, highlighting if i want to write something okay if i want to make some kind of shape okay i can do anything once i finish with my work i simply go over here and then i simply save it okay so nothing no nothing else is needed the file will be saved automatically uh, as a pdf so i don't have to do anything i don't have to convert it anywhere as well so this is the other thing so the last app uh, related to the PDF annotation is uh, Flexil. In the Flexil, you can also do the PDF annotations. You can simply open any PDF file. For example, I open this PDF file. So if you go over top, you see all the necessary tools. There is a pen tool the shape tool, the text tool, everything available over there. You can also make a backup of whatever work uh, you do if you want to open a new node you can also open a new node if you want to get some data and you can put in the new node as well so all the pdf annotation tools are available in the flexil as well uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much